These little guys can make you sick and they're in almost every home. No matter how much you clean, there's always some microbe squatting in your home. Whether it's in your sheets, in the dust at the back of the cabinet, or even the slow leak between the walls you don't know about. But the most common one is the dust mite. These guys are so small that you can't see them with your eyes and they feed on the dust in your home. I sampled some dust from around my house and you can see that within the dust, there's hair, skin cells, and random fibers. And this is the dust mite. He lives within the dust in your home. He's got round, translucent, almost a creamy white body with eight spidery legs and small hairs covering his body. These guys prefer to munch on dead skin cells that we constantly shed and about 500 of them can live in one gram of dust. But it's not the dust mite itself that causes allergies, it's actually their poop. Like roaches and rodents, it's the proteins in feces and their dead bodies that cause an allergic reaction within our bodies. When these get airborne, like when dust is disturbed, we have the chance to inhale them, which causes an inflammatory response and leads to allergy symptoms like sneezing, runny nose, and itching. If you wanna get rid of dust mites forever, good luck unless you live in a certified clean room. But for the rest of us, we can focus on the fabrics in our homes to reduce this invisible allergen. You can wash the sheets in hot water over 130 degrees Fahrenheit, use upholstery covers on pillows and mattresses, invest in a good vacuum that gets deep within the carpets and keep humidity between 30 to 50% because dust mites don't drink water and they need the humidity in the air to survive. So if you try any of these, let me know how it turns out with your allergies in the comments below.